Have you ever pondered how some individuals manage to bounce back from traumatic experiences while others seemingly do not? This question, seemingly simple, is the gateway to an intricate web of psychological phenomena that we are about to explore. At the heart of this exploration lies trauma, a deeply distressing or disturbing experience that can leave indelible marks on a person's psyche. It's a term that encapsulates an array of experiences, from the horrors of war to the subtler, yet equally devastating personal tragedies. The repercussions of trauma are diverse and complex, often manifesting in forms such as post-traumatic stress disorder, depression, and anxiety. Yet trauma doesn't tell the full story. There's another side to this narrative, one that is surprisingly hopeful. It's the story of resilience, the ability of individuals to adapt well in the face of adversity, to bounce back from the depths of despair and not just survive, but thrive. Resilience is a fascinating concept. It's not a trait that only a few lucky ones are born with. Rather, it's a set of behaviors, thoughts, and actions that anyone can learn and develop. It is the light that pierces through the darkness of trauma, illuminating pathways to recovery and growth. It is this interplay between trauma and resilience that forms the crux of our exploration. How does trauma shape an individual? How does resilience manifest in the face of such adversity? And most importantly, what can we learn from this intricate dance of despair and hope, of falling and rising again? In our journey, we will delve into real-life stories, explore the psychological underpinnings of trauma and resilience, and uncover strategies to foster resilience. Our aim is not to undermine the suffering that trauma inflicts, but to highlight the potential for resilience and growth that it paradoxically unveils. Join us as we delve into the fascinating world of trauma and resilience. This journey is not just about understanding the psychology of trauma and resilience, but also about fostering a deeper understanding of the human spirit in all its fragility and strength. Imagine surviving a plane crash. How would you cope with the aftermath? Let's take a moment to delve into a real-life testimony of a plane crash survivor. This individual was just like any other passenger, buckled up, looking forward to their destination. But in a matter of seconds, their world turned upside down. The plane crashed. Miraculously, they survived, but their journey was far from over. In the aftermath, they were plagued by nightmares. Each night, they would relive the terrifying moment of the crash, feeling the same fear, hearing the same screams. They developed an intense fear of flying, a common phobia known as aviophobia, which made even the thought of stepping onto a plane unbearable. The traumatic experience didn't just affect their sleep and travel habits, it infiltrated every facet of their life. They became anxious, their focus waned, and they found it difficult to enjoy things they once loved. The trauma had left deep psychological scars, but the human spirit is resilient, and so was theirs. Recognizing the toll the trauma was taking, they sought help. They went to therapy, where they were introduced to various techniques to help manage their trauma. They learned about mindfulness, the practice of focusing on the present moment without judgment. Mindfulness helped them to disentangle themselves from the haunting memories of the crash. They practiced grounding techniques, reminding themselves of their current safety whenever the fear threatened to consume them. Gradually, they began to face their fears. First, it was as simple as watching a plane fly overhead. Then, it was stepping into an airport and eventually they took a short flight. Each step was a victory, a testament to their courage and resilience. Their journey wasn't easy, but they kept going. Their story is not just a tale of survival, but of resilience. It showcases the power of the human spirit to overcome adversity, to heal and to grow despite traumatic experiences. This survivor's story is a testament to the power of resilience in the face of trauma. What happens in our minds when we experience trauma? And why do some of us respond differently than others? These are questions that have puzzled psychologists for decades. When trauma strikes, it doesn't merely leave its mark on our physical selves, but also profoundly alters our psychological makeup. The brain, our body's command center, undergoes significant changes in structure and function due to the stress caused by traumatic events. Understand this, our brain is like an orchestra with different sections playing together to create the symphony that is our thoughts, emotions and behaviors. But when trauma enters the scene, 
It's like a discordant note that disrupts this harmony. One of the key areas affected by trauma is the amygdala, the brain's fear center. When we face a traumatic event, the amygdala goes into overdrive, triggering a flood of stress hormones that prepare our body to fight, flee, or freeze. Over time, this heightened state of arousal can lead to a variety of mental health issues, from anxiety and depression to post-traumatic stress disorder. But here's where things get interesting. Not everyone responds to trauma in the same way. Why is that? The answer lies in our individual differences, our unique cocktail of personality traits, life experiences and genetic factors influence how we perceive and respond to traumatic events. For example, someone with a naturally resilient personality might be able to bounce back from trauma more quickly, while another person might struggle to cope. Likewise, our genetic makeup can make us more or less susceptible to the effects of trauma. Some people have genes that make them more resilient to stress, while others might have genes that increase their risk of developing mental health disorders after a traumatic event. So, while trauma can profoundly alter our brain and mental health, our unique individual factors play a significant role in shaping our response to these events. Understanding the psychological effects of trauma is the first step towards fostering resilience. Let's delve deeper into this topic in the next scene. Consider the story of a war veteran who, despite witnessing the horrors of war, managed to build a fulfilling life afterwards. This veteran, let's call him John, was deployed in some of the most hostile zones during his service. The battlefield was a daily reality, as were the traumatic experiences that came along with it. John's memories of the war were vivid and haunting. He often found himself reliving moments of intense fear and danger, the images playing out in his mind like a relentless movie reel. These flashbacks weren't just mental, they were physical too, causing his heart to race and his palms to sweat, as if he were back on the battlefield. The emotional toll was equally significant. Even when he was safe at home, John felt a sense of emotional numbness, a disconnect from the world around him. His mind and body seemed stuck in a war zone, even as he tried to navigate the peace of civilian life. But John's story doesn't end with trauma. It's also a story of resilience of finding ways to heal and grow despite the adversity. John found strength in the love and support of his family and friends. They listened when he needed to talk, held him when he needed comfort, and gave him space when he needed solitude. They didn't try to fix him, but simply stood by his side, offering their unwavering support. John also found solace in activities that gave his life purpose and meaning. He volunteered at a local shelter, took up gardening, and even started painting. These activities didn't erase his trauma, but they offered him a sense of accomplishment and joy, a reminder that life held more than just pain. Lastly, John practiced self-care. He sought therapy, took time to rest and learn to manage his stress. He recognized that healing wasn't a linear process, that there would be good days and bad days. But each step forward, no matter how small, was a victory in itself. The veteran's journey underscores the potential for resilience even in the aftermath of extreme trauma. John's story is a testament to the human capacity to endure, to heal, and ultimately, to thrive. So, how can we foster resilience in the face of adversity? That's a question that has intrigued psychologists and lay people alike for decades, and fortunately, we're beginning to uncover some compelling answers. Among the most effective strategies is cognitive behavioral therapy or CBT for short. This form of therapy is designed to help individuals identify and change destructive or disturbing thought patterns that have a negative influence on behavior and emotions. It's like reprogramming your brain to respond to stresses in a more balanced and constructive way. Next up is mindfulness-based stress reduction, which is a bit of a mouthful, but don't let the jargon deter you. This practice revolves around mindfulness which is simply the act of paying attention, on purpose, in the present moment, and without judgment. It's about accepting the here and now, and acknowledging your feelings without letting them spiral out of control. Regular practice of mindfulness can help to reduce stress, anxiety, and negative mood states, while improving mental clarity and focus. Lastly, never underestimate the power of a strong social support network. Humans are social creatures, and having people around who care about us, who we can lean on in times of stress, 
can make a world of difference. It's about knowing that you're not alone, that there are people who care about you and are there for you. Whether it's family, friends, or a support group, these relationships can provide emotional comfort, practical assistance, and a sense of belonging that can bolster our resilience. And remember, these strategies are not a one-size-fits-all solution. Everyone is different, and what works for one person might not work for another. It's about finding what works for you and consistently applying these strategies to cultivate your own resilience. Armed with these strategies, we can all enhance our capacity for resilience. And in doing so, we can not only survive adversity, but thrive in spite of it. Meet a cancer survivor whose resilience in the face of life-threatening illness is nothing short of inspiring. Let's delve into the journey of this remarkable individual. Their life took a dramatic turn when they were diagnosed with cancer. It was as if their world had come crashing down, a reality that is all too familiar for many who have walked this path. The diagnosis brought with it a wave of fear and uncertainty, a psychological storm that could have easily capsized their spirit. However, they chose to steer their ship through the storm. They decided to confront their fear head on and maintain a positive mindset. Yes, cancer was a formidable foe, but they were not going to let it dictate their life. They realized that their perspective was a powerful tool, one that could change the course of their journey. And so, they chose to see their diagnosis not as a death sentence, but as a challenge to overcome. Treatment was a battle. It was physically exhausting and emotionally draining. Yet they kept moving forward, fueled by a resilience that seemed to grow stronger with each passing day. They sought support from loved ones and healthcare professionals, leaning on them for strength and solace. They found comfort in these connections, reminding them that they were not alone in their fight. They also found purpose in their experience. They saw their journey as an opportunity to raise awareness about cancer and inspire others facing similar battles. They became a beacon of hope, a testament to the indomitable human spirit. Their recovery was not merely a physiological process, but a psychological one as well. They had to rebuild their life piece by piece, their resilience acting as the mortar holding everything together. They emerged from their battle with cancer stronger and more resilient, a phoenix rising from the ashes. This cancer survivor's story is a powerful reminder of the human capacity for resilience. Their journey is a testament to the strength of the human spirit, proving that even in the face of adversity, we have the power to rise above, to adapt and to overcome. So what does all this mean for you? We've journeyed through the complex web of trauma and resilience, and now it's time to bring it all together. We've seen firsthand the profound effects of trauma from the survivor of a plane crash, the resilient war veteran, and the cancer survivor who battled and overcame adversity. Each story is unique, yet they all share a common thread, resilience. Let's not forget the psychological underpinnings of trauma. It's not just about the event itself, but the emotional and psychological response that follows. It's about how we interpret and cope with these adverse experiences. And in the face of trauma, resilience emerges as a beacon of hope, a testament to the indomitable human spirit. Resilience isn't just about bouncing back. It's about growing and thriving despite adversity. It's about harnessing inner strength, fostering positive relationships, and staying hopeful, even in the darkest of times. It's about understanding that it's okay to not be okay and seeking help when you need it. We've discussed strategies and techniques to foster resilience. Remember, it's not a one-size-fits-all approach. What works for one person may not necessarily work for another. You might find strength in meditation while someone else finds solace in journaling or physical activity. The key is to find what works for you and incorporate it into your life. And most importantly, if you're struggling with trauma, please seek help. Reach out to a trusted friend, a family member, or a mental health professional. There's no shame in asking for help. In fact, acknowledging that you need help is a sign of strength and resilience in itself. So, as we conclude, remember this. Understanding trauma and fostering resilience is not just about overcoming adversity. It's about learning, growing, and becoming a stronger, more resilient version of yourself. Remember, we all have the capacity for resilience. It's just a matter of tapping into it.